Hello, my name is Nicolette and I work as a junior lab analyst in the CCI department at CS Analytical. Today I will be offering an overview of helium leak testing, a package integrity test CS Analytical offers, guided by USP Chapter 1207 and ASTM 2391. Helium leak testing is a highly sensitive test method, typically used in upfront work to evaluate the inherent integrity of a package system, whether the package needs to maintain sterility, headspace, or otherwise. The testing utilizes a mass spectrometer based helium leak detector and implements helium as a tracer gas by pulling vacuum and measuring the amount of helium that enters by way of leakage. The amount of helium leakage is then measured as a leak rate, which can be correlated to leak size. At CSA, we provide helium leak detection in two modes, vacuum and sniffer mode. In the ASTM, these are procedures A and B, respectively. In vacuum mode, the in instrument pulls vacuum on a sample such as a vial or syringe affixed to the top port of the instrument by way of a customized fixture. Here at CSA, customized fixtures are uniquely fabricated for the client's package system. This is to isolate seals of interest on the specific package system to ensure only leakage from the package seals are detected and not a separate source. The efficacy of the fixture to sample seal is tested during protocol design to verify this. While under vacuum, 100% helium gas is continually injected into the closed sample and the opposite end, which is open to the environment utilizing a flow meter and dispensing needle. Continuous helium flow, as opposed to a limited amount pre-injected into a closed sample, allows us to be confident in the presence of helium and an improved ability to detect leaks. If there are any leaks present in the seal of interest, that continuous flow of injected helium will pass through and be quantitatively measured as the helium leak rate. The leak detector pulling vacuum creates an approximate one atmosphere differential between the internal helium filled package and the seal exposed to the vacuum system. From a leak testing perspective, this represents a worst case scenario to measure the maximum leak rate across the sealing region and is frequently used to evaluate inherent integrity for guidelines presented in USP Chapter 1207. Considerable published research exists exploring rigid package leaks and their relationship to risk of leakage and microbial ingress. According to USP Chapter 1207, the maximum allowable leakage limit of less than 6 times 10 to the negative power of 6 millibar liters per second can be adopted as the probability of microbial ingress, which was predetermined to be less than 0.1. That section of the USP Chapter is directly tied to packages maintaining sterility but helium leak testing is sensitive enough to evaluate the maximum allowable leakage rate beyond this, suitable for evaluating most container systems. As outlined in Procedure A of the ASTM, helium leak detection in sniffer mode can also be used for a wide range of sample types and is typically applied in a more investigative manner for determining the location of leaks. In this mode, a sniffer probe is pneumatically connected to the top port of the instrument as opposed to a fixture in vacuum mode. During the test, vacuum is pulled, the sniffer probe is allowed to read the ambient levels of helium as a baseline. Then the sniffer probe gas collection tip may be brought around the seals of interest of the helium filled package. Recording that baseline prior to scanning the package allows for observation of any increase, indicative of a leakage pathway. Sniffer mode leak detection can be used on a large range of sample types, uh, such as large flexible package systems to pinpoint leakage locations. Determining the helium leak test mode is dependent on the objective and sample type. Both have their uses and advantages, and CS Analytical can assist you in determining the right test for your containers. If you are interested, please visit csanalytical.com for more information. Thank you.